Have you ever shouted in an empty tunnel, a large hall or on a mountain top only to hear your own voice answering you back? That magic moment is called an echo. But why does it happen? Let's try to understand the science. When you speak, sing or shout, you create sound waves. These sound waves travel outward from you moving through the air at a speed of 343 meters per second at room temperature. Sound waves bounce off the surfaces like walls, cliffs or buildings just like the light bounces of a mirror. When a sound hits hard distant surface like a wall or a canyon or a mountain, those waves reflect back towards you. If the reflected sound takes more than 0.1 seconds to reach your ears and that's usually if the reflecting surface is 17 meters or more away from you, your brain can distinguish the original sound from the reflected sound. That's when you hear an echo, a separate second version of your own shout or your own voice. Closer surfaces make the reflected sound overlap with the original, so you don't perceive it as an echo instead, it just sounds louder. Echoes have a lot of practical applications. Bats and dolphins use natural echoes or echolation to see in the dark and hunt. Sonar, sound navigation and ranging systems on ships and submarines send sound pulses underwater and read the echo to map the ocean floor. Engineers use echo to inspect buildings and bridges and leaks in them. Doctors use ultrasound, literal echoes inside the body to create images. So next time you hear an echo, remember it's your sound making a journey and bouncing back revealing the laws of physics at play in every shout. For more such science explainers, subscribe to UPC Simplified.